Hundreds of millions of people across the globe were horrified as a fire tore through the Cathedral of Notre Dame in Paris, but many were heartened when the first photos taken by the firefighters from within the cathedral revealed that the altar cross was still standing, gleaming through the smoke. It was an indication on one level that the damage wasn't as severe as most had feared, and on another level, it was a potent symbol of the undying promise of the cross at the start of Holy Week. But if your name is Dan Broadbent, aka a science enthusiast, your first thought is, I'm gonna stick it to those Christards! A woman on Twitter wrote, After all the aftermath and destruction of the Notre Dame fire, the altar and cross remained untouched. Please explain to me how you don't believe in God after seeing this. And Dan went all 9-11 truther on her and said, Because the melting point of gold is 1,064 degrees Celsius, and a wood fire burns at around 600 degrees Celsius. Because, of course, when a building is ravaged by flames and the roof is caving in, the only reason something could not be left standing is because it melted. Here's one view of the destruction. Here's another view. Yes, clearly the only possible reason that cross wouldn't be left standing is because it melted. Wait, does Dan actually think that life-size cross is made of solid gold? The cross and marble sculpture of Mary cradling the body of Jesus together form the altarpiece called Descent from the Cross by artist Nicolas Costeau. Now I wasn't able to determine what the altar cross is made of, but in every news report it's described as gold in rather than gold, so we could be sure the cross is not made of solid gold. But yes, assuming that the roof wasn't literally caving in, and assuming that the cross was made of solid gold, Dan is absolutely correct that this ordinary wood fire wouldn't be hot enough to melt the cross. Ha ha ha! Just kidding, he's wrong there too. In fact, scientists, actual scientists, not guys who call themselves science enthusiasts, tell us that the fire raged at temperatures of 1400 degrees Celsius, which is more than hot enough to melt gold for the purposes of Dan's idiotic argument. Of course, that was the temperature at the roof, but his argument never took that into account to begin with. Now you might think Dan Broadbent, as a humanist, might at least take a second out to mourn the partial destruction of such an artistically and historically significant monument of man's creation, but no, these anti-Christian bigots don't really care about culture, they don't really care about history, they don't even really care about science, all they care about is attacking Christianity and Christian believers. In response to a fire that was likely started by people who hate Christians, and has been celebrated by people who hate Christians, Dan thought that what we really needed was another sneering and trivial-minded attack on Christians, this one framed in the familiar prejudice that Christians are somehow scientifically illiterate, but of course, his attack is based on assumptions that are completely asinine and wrong. So with that out of the way, I hope you all have a wonderful Easter. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.